So this is a question from just 2022, a simple question on probability in which two dices are given and PM is the probability that you get a sum of M. So the faces are one, two, three, four, five, six. And we have to tell which of the two probabilities are same. Okay. So if uh, you have six faces here, six faces here, and you are throwing the two dices, so how many combinations you get? So total uh, total combination that we will get, it will be uh, six in the first one and six in second. So that will be equal to 36, okay? And uh, since, uh, let me check the first one. So what is the probability that we get nine? So we will have to see in how many number of ways we will get it nine how many number of ways we will get so let me write this so first one will be if suppose i get uh, uh, three here six in the second then we will get nine then six in the first three in the second then we will get the sum as nine and first one is uh, three is over now first uh, one is four then second one will be five and first one is say five and then second one is four. So if I take the third one, uh, four, that will become five. It is already written and six and three already written. So these are four number of ways. So P nine will be equal to four by 36. Okay. So the probability that we get the sum as a nine will be four by 36. And let us, let us check for P five. So how many number of ways we will get uh, five? Uh, first of all, let us check that. So if I get uh, one, then I must get four. And four, I must get one. Then I will take two here. Then I must get three. And then if I take three here, I must get two. And if I increase it now, four and one, that is already there. And uh, then five, I can't take. So here also, probability to get 5 will be equal to 4 by 36. So that means option A is correct, that P of 9 will be equal to P of 5. So from the probability, they give sometimes very, very basic questions. No, uh, uh, I mean, a lot of depth is not required. Just you have to read the question and understand what is happening and write the cases and then write the probability, okay? So just uh, don't be, I mean, disheartened by the language and the paragraph. Just read it carefully. And that question may be very, very easy. Just writing the situation and understanding the situation may help. Okay. Thank you.